Yo, what's up, Fly Gang? It's your girl, Kai. And Lydia. Behind the counter today. Today, we are bringing you guys my most famous lemon chicken. All right, guys, so first I'm going to show you guys the ingredients. Also, there was a little short slideshow of what I'm going to be using on my lemon chicken. So I will let you guys know exactly what I'll use as time goes on. All right, guys, so without further ado, it's time to kick it in the kitchen. So first, guys, first things first, wash your hands, okay? No, nobody want no nasty fingers in their food, okay? So we're gonna wash our hands, got my dry towel. And I've already washed and rinsed off my um, chicken thighs, which is the type of protein that we're using today. So this is with the skin on. This is pretty crucial for this recipe because you want the skin of the chicken to be crispy and just, mmm, just voluptuous, huh babe? Mm-hmm. Okay, so before I start seasoning my meat, I'm gonna preheat my oven to about 415. You can do 425, but our oven gets pretty hot. So we're gonna do 415 for about 40 to 45 minutes. All right, preheating, baby. Let's let's get some seasoning up in here. Let's get some seasoning. So first things first is I like to flip over my chicken before I season the top. I don't ask me why. I just like to do that. Okay. So I'm gonna get a good amount of this is sea salt. Okay. So be pretty generous. Not too generous, but generous enough. Well, the other pieces don't get jealous. There we go. All right, so I got a good amount of salt on there. I'm gonna start it off with some onion powder. You guys, don't mind my nails, okay? Cause I need them done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put a good amount of, babe, can you see it? Can you see the meat? I can see it. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to do some garlic powder. Now, we love some garlic over here, okay? We love garlic. Our cats are fighting behind us. Love some garlic, okay? And then, next, I'm going to put some cayenne pepper. Now, we like it a little spicy, okay? You do not have to use this. This is optional optional guys then a little bit of lemon pepper just a little bit it comes out but you have to be careful with lemon pepper guys because lemon pepper can be, get very salty so please please be careful and then i'm gonna take some black pepper i know you guys think it is gonna be spicy and you right you is right Okay, we love spicy food over here. So just remember, all of these seasonings are optional though. It really is. But it ain't gonna taste like my lemon pepper chicken if you don't put it on there. Okay, so then flip it back over. Now the bottom side is down and done. I'm gonna season the top now. So some salt. And we're gonna start the process over again. Garlic powder. And I also like to lift up the skin a little bit if I can. Cause shoot, we eating everything. So we want all of it to taste good. Oh yeah, look at that flap. Oh yeah, there we go. I've transferred over my chicken into a baking dish. I'm gonna put the garlic aside for now. Actually, I need that. 
Okay, and I'm going to cut my lemons in half. I'm tr gonna try to get as much seeds out as I can, but if not, don't worry about it. Okay, and then I'm going to squeeze my lemon juice over the chicken, okay? And also, don't worry if some of your seasonings run off because it's gonna run off and soak into the juice and it's going to make be seasoned all throughout your meat when, while it's cooking. It's going to taste so good, so don't worry about it. Which is why we're waiting to put the thyme and rosemary on last. Okay? So... I'm making about five pieces of chicken thighs and about four lemons. You can use more lemons if you want. You can use less. It's all up to you and your taste. Okay guys, so next up I'm going to chop up my garlic, okay? So if you don't know how to chop up garlic, first you smash it down and then you peel off. I was gonna say the skin. What is it? I think the skin. Okay, I'm gonna call it the skin. Okay. And again, I'm using three pieces of garlic. You can use more or less. I'm gonna say that because I don't want you guys to be tripping. So, I'm going to chop off the end, and I'm going to just run my knife. Okay, so we're just going to roughly chop them. Okay, and then we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna just sprinkle some garlic on top of the chicken. So I don't know if you guys ever had like crispy garlic, but it is the best, huh, babe? Mm -hmm. It's so good. So I, I, we love garlic. So I'm gonna put all this garlic on top of this chicken. Okay, and. While it's in the oven, it's gonna get all crispy. So each bite you take is gonna have a little piece of crispy roasted garlic bomb. This is just to make it pretty, make it cute, okay? We're going to make little garnishes with our used lemon. So make sure you get all of the seeds out of it before you use it. I think that one I can't get any more out of that. Okay, so I'm just going to do a diagonal cut. Make sure the seeds are out. So we need five pieces. Dang, so many seeds. Okay. So we're gonna do a just diagonal cut like that. So we're gonna put, lay these right on top. Okay, so now while the lemon is sitting on top of here, which is Babe's favorite part, mm -hmm. okay? So I'm going to take a little bit of rosemary and just sprinkle a little bit right on top of the chicken. I'm gonna put a little bit of thyme. Basil. Some black pepper, lots of black pepper. Spicy. Yeah, you like it spicy. The last and final touch, okay? So this butter, 
It's going to help your chicken skin get so crispy and so flavor. Flavorful. <laughs> and how you say it? Flavorable. Oh. Flavorable. <laughs> it feels weird saying it like that. Okay, so you want to do just like a, a nice little size of butter on top of the chicken. Oh my God, I'm gonna put a little bit more on that one. Mm, mm, mm. Oh gosh, guys, this is about to be amazing. Okay guys, so we're gonna put this chicken in the oven again for about 40 to 45 minutes. I'm going to put foil on top of the chicken because I want the chicken to stay juicy, okay? If you do not cover it, it's going to dry out as far as the juice, and you need that juice for the rice, okay? So I'm gonna cover this up, and I will see you guys back with the finishing touches. Okay guys, so the last about 10 to 15 minutes, I'm gonna take the foil off so that, we, that way we can allow the skin to get crispy, okay? So we're gonna put it back for another about 10 to 15 minutes. All right guys, and then I, Put the oven on broil for the last five minutes to get it really crispy, and it is done. Mm -mm -mm. 